Hey, how's it going? Today's drawing lesson is gonna be simple and for beginners. So if you're a complete beginner and you've never drawn anything in your life, this is the perfect place to be. This is gonna be step by step and it's gonna be short. I try to keep these around the 10 minute mark. Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna to go over how to draw uh, the Spider-Man logo, the ones on his chest. Um, there's a bunch of different versions of this logo, but I'm gonna go through my favorite one. Um, and that's pretty much it. Simple, easy, for beginners. You don't even need any color for this one. This is gonna be straight up marker and or ink, whatever you have. Pencil, you can do it as well, all right? And I'm using regular printer paper to do it, so, so it's gonna be real, really easy. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna draw kind of a ball shape for the middle, the center, on the top part of the arachnid. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Ooh, before I mention, don't forget to hit the subscribe. Uh, if you like learning to draw everything, if you wanna learn to draw your favorite, favorite characters, right? If you wanna have that stuff in your mind's eye, if you wanna have it in your mind, you'd be able to draw it anytime somebody asks you, you're like, bam, I know how to draw that. If you want to do that, hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna be posting uh, all your favorite characters, like pretty much filling this up like every day, you know, every day. Uh, and you don't wanna miss out on that. It's gonna show you a thumbnail of what character I'm doing that day. So absolutely stick around uh, by doing that. So you gotta click that bell notification though to, for it to announce. I'm gonna throw a triangle over here for one of the fangs, the triangle for the other fang for the arachnid. You can even draw like a uh, smaller ones in the middle there. Cool. I'm gonna go over here, pull out right there. To the bottom part of the, I think, what is that, thorax or something? Pull out. Down. Down. And maybe like a, it's gonna have that shape at the bottom there. Okay. Do good. Now we're gonna draw the eight legs. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna draw it. I'm gonna try to push this marker uh, thick enough that it that it shows the, the leg there. Out, up. All right. Over here. Out. I'm gonna try to copy that side right there. Up. I'm gonna do that same thing right here on this side. Pull out over here, down, up, kind of around here. And I'm gonna imitate that, uh, like reflected on this side. Out over here. Okay. So two are facing up and two are facing down. That's kind of the way we're gonna do it. Uh, now I'm gonna go over here, out. Down and down some more. Reflect it on this side. Down, down some more here. Out over here. Downward. That one's gonna only have two. Out over here. Downward. Because that one's only gonna have like one joint as opposed to two. So, first thing I want you to do is I want you to fill in this center part. Whether you're doing this in pencil, marker, anything, I want you to fill it in. Fill it in. Love Spider-Man. That trailer's really cool. The uh, Far From Home. Uh, but yeah, big on Spider-Man. <coughs> Excuse me. As far as my favorite movie of Spider-Man, I think I... I don't know what my favorite movie was. I, I'm trying to think of that, honestly. I'm hoping the new one is gonna be my favorite one. All right, I'm gonna go... Do you know your favorite Spider-Man movie? Let me know which one. I'm gonna go over here and give that a little bit of uh, shape to it. See, I'm gonna make the end of it a little more, a little more triangular. Same thing over here, gonna make it come outward as it goes to the joint. Give it a little bit more, like a spiky look. Might do the same thing over here, just make this a little bit thicker. So you can see that joint right here as well. Let's do the same thing for the outer one. I'm gonna make it come to a little bit more of a point on that side. I'm gonna make it a little bit large. It's gonna come uh, at the joint. The joint's gonna be a little bit bigger. It always becomes bigger at the joint. Let's just say that. I like where it turns. And there's a lot of room 
for creativity here, you can absolutely kind of create your own as well. It's a little bit bigger at the joint, and then I fill it in. A little bigger at the joint, it gets smaller as it goes out. Do the same thing for the ones on the outside here, right here, bigger at the joint, pull down. Here as well, bigger at the joint, and then tapers down. Cool, cool. Uh, that's mostly it, honestly. You kind of have it there. A lot of this is, is going to be like tweaking stuff now. You're gonna, you can, uh, like, you can right here sharpen. We're working with a silhouette, right? It's a logo we're working with. So it's gonna, you can make these pointier right here with the marker or pencil. If you have a pencil, you can do the same thing. Make them pointier. And then over here too, just try to repair it, maybe clean it up. That's all you're doing because a lot of these are usually done on like Photoshop or something or Illustrator. So it's a little bit different for, the, for someone on Photoshop or Illustrator to clean it up right here. But for us, we're trying to clean up the edges and make stuff look as clean as you possibly can. And that's gonna be a key to a logo, right? Making it look clean. Uh, because even if like there's stuff that you think is like maybe out of place, um, the outside viewer is gonna be like, oh wow. Like if it's clean, they'll they'll be like, oh wow, this, this, that, that works, you know? That works for them. Uh, you know, if they don't know where things belong per se, you can fool the viewer really. Because that's kind of what you're doing, right? You're making these for the viewer, not so much other artists. Um, all right, let's see. Like again, I'm just kind of cleaning stuff up. That's kind of it. I hope you enjoyed that, by the way. Um, I thought that was uh, really fun. If there's any other logos you want me to do, absolutely let me know. I'm, you know, I'm gonna see which ones I have already. Uh, I'll probably make a logo file on the playlist. Don't forget, you can find every single thing I put here on a playlist. And I do appreciate you watching, by the way. I really, really can't express to you how much I am thankful for you guys watching and uh, hanging out here. Um, you guys have made this, like, I mean, I used to post on this thing, like, once every, like, three months. <laughs> but now I'm posting every day, and that's really just because of you guys. Uh, you pay attention, or you, you reply, or you talk. Uh, my challenge is I'm going to reply to every single comment ever. I'm going to go through my comments section and try to reply to every single one so test me on that okay um, hit the like button if you enjoyed this and you want to see more um, and that's it i'll see you tomorrow basically i want you to stay creative and i want you to really stay uh stay motivated okay that's all talk to you next time oh also go check out the stuff in the description there's a lot of cool stuff in the description that will make you a better artist um, all right we'll talk to you soon later